All right, hello everybody. This is Average Aaron's Auto Videos, and today we're going to be replacing a automatic tensioner pulley on our 2003 uh, Dodge Ram with a 5.7 liter V8. And so we've gone ahead and popped the hood. Let me show you the box of the part that we got, automatic belt tensioner. Uh, don't forget the belt the box says, but my belt actually turns out to be in pretty good shape, uh, so I'm not too concerned about that. And uh, this is what the part looks like that we'll be pulling out right here. And if you see this little hole right here, 3 8 inch socket drive, uh, this is what when you stick a tool in there, either 3 8 or, or what tool I'll show you in a second, you're going to turn it to the right like this to remove the tension on the belt and then pull the belt gently off so you can replace this part here. And then you're going to remove a 15 millimeter bolt from right here and uh, pull off the part and put this one on, put the 15 millimeter bolt back in here. Loosen the tension, reroute the belt, and you're done. It doesn't take that long. All you'll need is a 15 millimeter socket with a ratchet, and then I've got a 3 8 inch drive uh, little tensioner thing here that releases it for us. So let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, so I've already got it loaded in down there on the end of the stick. You can kind of see it's feeding in right at the end of my glove in the dark shadows. I apologize about the lighting. Um, but all I'm going to do is when you... Pull this lever, it loosens the belt. Now, before you take a belt off, always, always, always know the routing plan. And fortunately, it's either on the hood or right on top of the radiator here. And you can see it's got it for the various engine sizes. And we've got this one. So this is how it's gonna be routed. And so pay attention to that. Uh, when I loosen the tension, I'm gonna pull it off the alternator around here and then leave everything else on uh, so I don't complicate the process. But if you go to do this and you are checking out your belts, one of the things you want to look for on your belt, my belt feels pretty tight. I can barely really move that. And then you want to look for any glazing on the backside or if there's any frays or knotting in the grooves on the other side of the belt. You can see they got a little bit of grooves on them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause and remove the belt. And I'll show you a quick shot of that. And then I'll pause again and remove the old piece. I will be right back. Right, so as you can see, I got the belt off. Here's the grooves on the top of the radiator piece. And uh, I can obviously easy pull as I pull my light down there. Uh, anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm just going to let the belt kind of hang freely. I'm going to pull this piece off. And you can see down in there, right there is the 15 millimeter bolt that I'm going to pull off, I think. Oh, nope, it's down one more right oh belt went away right there so not this one uh, but the one below is where i'm going all right i'm going to pause and go and take the part out and then i'll show them to you and see what they look like uh, side by side all right so i've got the two parts out here and you can obviously tell which one is the old one because uh, you may feel like you need a tetanus out just from looking at it so it's got the two prongs on top. You want to make sure that it has both of those on it and they didn't rust away or break off uh, inside the bracket inside and it sits on there. And then you can see the rust on there. That's the rust isn't necessarily a bad thing, but uh, this one was old and I'm not sure it had the same tension as it did after uh, 17 years. So I've got this new part and it looks a little bit different and that's okay. Uh, I watched a video from uh, 1A Auto on this. So you've got uh, this side piece, oh, just broke my light. Uh, this side piece here a little bit, looks a little different. And then it doesn't have this top portion here. Uh, but it does fit in there, and this will seat uh, and go in there properly. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. You just got to make sure that you get it on there, and it's going to go in like this. Boop! Uh, it probably won't make that noise when you put it in, though. I do want to show you a diagram uh, from 1A Auto on the screen here on the routing of your belt. So if you don't have a diagram listed in your hood, here's a good picture of one. And if you don't have a picture of one, uh, just draw it before you get there and how it's routed. And I'll show you right now what the belt looks like when it's off, uh, sitting in there and how I positioned it so I can get it back and around there. I put that top part back on the top of the alternator, even though I know I'm gonna have to remove it from there. And then uh, the rest of it's flowing down in there. So this way it didn't fall off too much, uh, but it still goes down and around uh, that one right there. And up top. All right, so I'm going to put the new one on, and before I tighten the belt, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I've switched. I don't have the belt on yet, uh, but I've got my light lodged down in there. A little probably come off here as we do this. Uh, we can see I got the new part seated. 
and you can kind of see, let me get my light here, how there's not a hole for that top point. There was a hole on this side over here, uh, but on the right side, it just sits on top of the metal and prevents this piece from spinning while it keeps the tension on the belt. I just want to show you guys that before I put the belt back on. And again, you want to route it, uh, refer to your diagram, uh, which for this particular truck is, uh, okay, I don't know if my glove, uh, located right here. So I'm going to check that and put the belt on, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right, as you can see, I got the new uh, tensioner on there. It's nice and shiny. Might be actually be the shiniest part on this truck. Uh, but I also make sure the belt was routed correctly. And you'll know if it's not because it'll have slack in it. The hardest part uh, was to get, see this smooth world side right here? The hardest part was to get this lined up so it was hitting right evenly in the center of that and you can see the wear pattern on it. But you also want to make sure all your belt lines up and is in the grooves on each of these little pulleys and wheels all throughout here, all around the alternator, uh, down there in the tensioner pulley where there is no light, but like make sure that's running around there, smooth as can be lined up on all sides. And then don't assume that everything stayed on correct. Go down there and check all your belts, make sure it's lined up. Uh, I had to check this one down here to make sure, and it's on there correct now. I wish I could really show you guys that, there we go. Um, but it's in the grooves and stuff now. Make sure that's there. All right, I'm gonna open the garage door and fire this up and we'll see uh, what happens. Hopefully it worked. All right, clearly that worked because there is no belt squeaking. And uh, you can hear it, there is no belt squeaking. Do not stick your hand in there, that fan will take off a finger, as will the belt. And I'm gonna pause and show you guys the tightness on the belt uh, so you can compare that to earlier in the video and see how tight it is. All right, that really did solve my squeaky belt issue at startup. And uh, even now, when I try to turn and rotate this belt, I can't even do it nearly as much as I could have earlier, or even lift or move. Like, I thought it was snug before, and now it's even more tight. Uh, so the tensioner apparently did the trick. That was my issue. So if you guys have a slightly squeaky belt, uh, and this you've diagnosed that you need to replace the tensioner, this is how you do it. Hope that helped you guys. And uh, hit that like button and subscribe down below. And I've got a couple more videos coming up on the Dodge. Going to do some brakes. Going to do some stuff to see if I can't get that uh, pesky check engine light off. Uh, but like I um, just mentioned, hit that like and subscribe. We've got more average errands auto videos coming your way, uh, hopefully in the next couple days. All right, take care, YouTube. Talk to you guys later. Bye.